Do you know? I wear a dress just to look extra buffer. Damn. It's hard to make fun of somebody when it looks like they can kill you just by the like, do, like, do I know how to fight? I know how to murder. It's just not illegal to. I mean, it's just not. <laughs> Does this dress make my muscles look big? Excuse me, I just dropped. This is not testing out my sexuality. I'm just humorous. And this is how I feel about trans people. Now it's time to reveal for people. Is it go down farther? Yeah. No. Damn, it makes, oh shit. No wonder girls wear dresses. This my E's dog delivery. I got your dog. Hello, sir. That's yours. Yup. Is the leash also yours? Yup. Really? Oh, adios, amigo. Those clouds look menacing. Looks like it's gonna rain. Please just be traveling mean clouds because putting so much work into this don't rain on me. It just got hairy. I'm pretty sure this is not healthy. I don't know. I don't know why, but for some reason when it's cut this way, I feel like I'm short a sandwich. Why is it cut this way? I ain't complaining because that's free lunch and with work, but like, where the rest of my sandwich at? I don't want you to be bored. I don't care what you want me to do with my hair, my head. This is my body, my choice. I don't give a crap. <laughs> Hi.
how you older brother with the younger brother genetics with that baby face look and having and then look at him with older brother genetics but got that three year age gap shit with that luscious almost ZZ top shit. How are you older brother with younger brother genetics? <laughs> that don't make no sense. I was sense. supposed to stay young forever. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed with the mel melanatedness. Even if you shaved off Chris's face, he'd probably still look older. No. <laughs> Chris told, don't I have that. <laughs> Now, I'm very unsure if this is the male urge, toxic masculinity, or my upbringing, but I'm going to explain it. The urge to compete. Like, I would literally compete with you on everything. Did I stutter? I would see who could eat faster, who can come faster, who can pull the most guard, who can move the most cars, who can drive the fast, who can get in the most shit, who can grab the most shit. I'm not even homosexual, and I'd still test to see who can beat off the most dicks. Who can kick the ball farther? Who can kiss kiss farther? No, piss farther. Whose dick is longer? Who can kiss longer? Who's stronger? Who's faster? Who's better looking? But some of these questions wouldn't be answered as easily. Like the who's a fool? I want to know who's the best. Like one and two, three and four, five and six. I want to know the list. But location ranges differently. The best fighter in this realm is not the best fighter in this realm. But they say the world champion. But did they really fight the world? There's so many fighters that didn't even make it to them. And I get that's why terminal terminants exist, but still, is it just me? <clears throat> Whatever it takes to distract me from cleaning my room. I learned if I center everything, it makes me want to clean it more compared to just going in certain areas. So I put it in front of me. Back to the point, though. Now, I'm not quite sure what's a kink, essentially, so I'm just going to tell you guys these things, and you guys either make fun of me, agree, or just ignore me. Do what you typically do. So, for some reason, I notice I will get an erection if a parent is doing a good job, and I mean, like, truly taking care, and, taking care of and valuing that child. It's not a bisexual boner, it's a heterosexual boner. Anytime a girl moans, like, she has to be of age, clear. Or I'm giving myself a stern talk to you, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get the fuck out of my head, you stupid son of a bitch. Who the fuck let this motherfucker think for me? When a girl is interested in the things I'm interested in, like soccer, poetry, or people watching morbid thoughts and just conspiracy theories, just like, oh my god, my, my dick was any harder, it would explode. When she's aggressive and assertive, like, oh, is that because you're scared of everybody and you hate people? Or is that because you're sassy and independent? Damn! I don't really want to be telling you guys this, but, um, <clears throat> you ever have an ex, she'll a finger up your ass because she done been begging you and you're just like, if I let you do that, can I have threesome? She said yes. So I was like, fine, but don't fucking throw her in the knuckle, okay? Okay? Because I, I wasn't even ready to begin with, and I told her, let me go to the bathroom, so I ain't gonna, I don't want you to have no presents, okay? So tell me why this bitch be grinning the whole entire time, like, like this. <laughs> Warming up her hands, too, because I told her I ain't doing it if it's cold, because I don't want my balls to shrink either. So she does it. And not only do I not tell her to go past the nickel, but these bitch don't go to her whole entire face, like, yeah! Oh shit, I made sure that threesome was her best friend that yeah <laughs> Some of the funniest motherfuckers I know are me myself and I get those motherfuckers in the room. There's no telling what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest issue with communication is, my biggest issue with communication is it's not really all that clear and or transparent. Like, I don't really know. Like, when it comes to work and essentially you know what you're doing for your job, more or less. Because I will admit, I wasn't trained for every job that I was in. Some job I was just thrown into. It's just like, don't fuck up or we'll fire you. No training? Wait, you told me those 
two, three, four, five instructions that you told me like two weeks ago was trying five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, an hour ago, information that went in one ear, out the other. I'm, Motherfucker, you gotta repeat shit to me. Like five to seven times. I had a teacher that told me you have to repeat things 11 times for it to be committed to memory. I'm like 22 to memory but that's just me personally but you don't want to take time and energy you just figure if somebody else get it fire me and hire them because it's easier isn't it? so now i'm just like a little bit shorter when it comes to communicating with people because i'm like what do you want with me from me how do we are we going to progress it's just like so i give up quickly because it's just like eh, not like i'm a fucking siamese twin or a twin in general like i was born here alone i'm gonna die alone anyway if we get along we do if we don't we fucking don't plain and simple Shoulders are on fire. Let me get this joke in before I go off to work. Well, last one until after. I'm like, pretty sure as soon as I get home from work, I'm just going. <laughs> All right, younger me used to cheat, so I. I try my best as a more educated, progressive adult. Bitch, if I don't like you, we split. Rather you listen to me or not, you're not my chick. You're just a psycho chick that didn't hear me when I said, we don't, no, I don't want to be with you no more. But younger me, I never wanted to be that asshole. I didn't want to like upset the chick. So I just figured, well, if she breaks up on me, I'm not the asshole. But like, how the fuck do I get her to break up with me? I'm not gonna beat her. That's fucking stupid. I've been lying, but for some reason she's not bothered by that. I've even told her how much I think her friends are more attractive than her. I had to give some other chick the D. Like, I want her to be happy. I just didn't want to break it off with her. But yeah, now she's happily married to some other dude. Like, whew, I'm glad she finally left me. And also that extra body, yeah, nah, I ain't dating that chick either. Fuck that bitch. That one had a man too, but like, we ain't gonna talk about that shit. Challenge accepted. Honestly, I came here more or less just to challenge my lower body. And if I go where more people are going to be, of course, what do I expect aside to see other people? If I go where others dare to never travel, there's just like, well, clearly you came here for something. I came here for training. I don't care what you came here for because if I find out, I might not be able to leave. Or one of us isn't. That's the point of, yay! Look at that. Oh, see, people aren't going to walk up here. That's too hard. And then, oh, just, oh, yes, yes, ah, and I didn't hit my head on nothing. And oh, yes, mm, mm, just go in. Woo, woo. A little too hard on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I find people here, that's because they're looking at me. What the, 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 the. Oh, yeah. See? To me, a child is basically a receipt that you don't exist in and you've been fucking that body. But to me, there's many forms to leave a legacy. So I just be overly the recording because I don't ever think no chick gonna love me enough to actually want to reproduce and stay with me. So the bitches keep rolling up to me like, hi, bye, she. I don't give a fuck. Literally, I be asexual the way I want to be. So sable sexual, what that mind do? Nothing? Okay, cool. I be doing a lot of things physically and intellectually, but where does the monetary gain come from? I get it, I get it. Gold digging, aren't you? I get it. Capitalistic society we be in, I can make money too, but do I have to make a price to get to you? Fuck you. I don't even want to spend that time. Ugh. I'm just trying to do what's best for me, and what's best for me is not focusing on any other body but me, but what do I think about me? How do I think about me? That's for me and me, not you. Yeah.
A mob of black youths stampeded through downtown Chicago last all right, this is going to be dark as fuck, so go ahead and read me in the comments if you want to. But after listening to this whole entire video, I'm just... They kill black people on top of the black community killing themselves. But they kill black people from becoming mass murder. But even after Caucasian folks are mass murder, most of them are still left alive. That's what's confusing me. Like, we can get shot from a traffic fucking stop. You're telling me most of these people of the other pigmentation could literally off a whole entire family and they're just going to be sitting in custody waiting for trial and everything. A traffic stop ain't supposed to be dang. A name check ain't supposed to be dang. A walk home ain't supposed to be dang. Like, of all the times that you should be using aggressive force, I'd he murdered how many of his family members? Even the kids? What the? You better turn off the body cams, because I'm about to get psycho up in this motherfucker right now. Instead of, oh, he was jaywalk. <laughs> See if you ever walk in this life again. Like I said, go ahead and read me, because somebody's going to get offended by why. But Big Cock, you said it before. I wanted to, but I ain't got the pigmentation to. All right, ciao, ciao, ciao. I went on a little bit of a me day. I went to a park and went for a walk and what I was thinking when I went for the walk. Holy shit, the public's out here. I better be very critical about the situations I'm in because, well, just me and all of them with each other, they could easily corroborate a story to say that I am a bad guy because I am alone. Now, on top of that, females are also out in public and I am a male, penis holding provider. I am muscular. Maybe deceitfully or maybe easily seen either way they worry about being raped by somebody that looks like me, just me in generalizing penis providing, penis holding compared to being eaten by a shark and I get it. I'm only worried about being shot. It's easier for me to avoid the cops than it is for her to avoid me. So safely walking around women 101 always give them the distance. Most women will just choose to go a different route if that is a chance to. If not, they'll try to get you to go in front of them and you gradually go. They're more scared of us than we are scared of them. I'm just scared of the social implications. What? All right, pal.